This is not our first state capital here in Jefferson City. This is actually our third one. What makes it unique from other state capitals is that we only use the resources found in Missouri to create it. And we didn't use wood in the construction of the building because of the, the fear of fire. But all the flooring, the walls, the outside, this is all Carthage marble and Phoenix marble from the mines right here in Missouri. It's not a true marble, it's a limestone. But the big sense of pride is the fact that we only use materials from Missouri. And you know, World War I was actually very active and going on during this time frame. And this building wasn't cheap. So it did cost about $3.5 million to create the building. And the people in Missouri had to buy bonds to actually build this. They were so grateful, they actually bought $4.5 million worth. Well, the extra million dollars that was set aside not for the construction of the building was actually had to be used for the decoration of the building. And this is one reason why we have such all the artwork inside the building. Currently right now, you're in the house lounge. And the house lounge originally was used for the representatives to come while they weren't in session inside the chambers. The story inside this room in, in, the, in the house uh, lounge, and this is a mural done by Thomas Hart Benton. He's from the Osho, Missouri, in the southwest area. A very strong Missouri artist, very popular and famous in his time frame. He considered one of the fathers of regionalism in the United States, that style of artwork. The painting this year is called The Social History of Missouri. It's how Missouri came to be through everyday people, which he thought was the most important. It starts from the earliest times when the settlers first moved into Missouri, first uh, establishing the first cities like in St. Genevieve, establishing friendships with the Osage Indians and developing trade with them, to the pioneers first coming out west and making their first homestead stop here in Missouri before maybe even possibly going farther out west from here. From there, you go to the building stages of the state, developing the state that we know today, adding the major cities and towns and counties. And, you know, history is not always the greatest, always good, and it has to be bad as well. So we did start as a slave state, but we were also the first state to free the slaves because we didn't fall under the Emancipation Proclamation of the federal government. It only affected the southern states. Since we were the union with the slaves, we actually wrote our own and ours put ours in place before the federal government put theirs in. Farming is the, probably the biggest issue we have here in Missouri and the biggest thing we do. And where we established ourselves from beef production to corn and grains and rice and to everything in between. The city developments of the St. Louis and Kansas City, you know, at one point we were the only state in the United States who had two, city, two cities over a million people. Kansas City and St. Louis. Um, St. Louis, of course, known for its breweries, Anheuser-Busch, Falstaff, and more importantly, Lemp kind of was kind of forgotten about because it's the first people to bring the lager beer into the United States. Kansas City, with its huge stockyards and train depots, which helped spread those goods and funds all across the United States. Lots of controversy in the mural. Thomas Hart Benton, like I said, he would depict the good and the bad in his history. He just didn't want to say one-sided of things. So on the walls, you'll see the issue of slavery on the wall. You'll see uh, the tribal members being given alcohol by the, by the French traders, which was a fair and even trade back in the day. Um, during the Civil War, there's a picture that depicts that airy time frame of a man being hung. Um, Probably the biggest contention of the painting is the fact that there's a child on here that's showing its rear end. Worse yet, the mother's changing a dirty diaper, something they really didn't care for to see. They couldn't believe he'd put something on the wall like that. He had to verify everything on the wall to be historically correct. And he did. When he got to the child, he just bluntly said, you know, none of us would be here if our parents didn't change our diapers. It still caused lots of problems. There's Tom Pentergast on the wall, which is the political mob boss of Kansas City. Um, during his time frame, he eventually went to prison and, and died shortly after that. But there was a lot of things they couldn't believe he'd put on the wall. A lot of people like Jesse James. You know, he's an outlaw. Why would you put something like that on the wall? And then there's some of the great things on the wall, too. You know, it does so the progression of Missouri from the very beginnings to the modern age. Well, as, as modern as 1936 gets when he actually painted the painting. The nice thing about the Capitol is you have an appeasing outside of a Roman construction design. Um, 
it is one of the most beautiful capitals in the U.S. to physically look at. We have trees surrounding us. We're not sterile. We're just not just a building out in the middle of nothing. You know, we have grasses and trees. We have 17 acres of, to walk around in. Inside, we have one of the most beautiful uh, rotunda areas with the murals done by Frank Brangwyn, a uh, Welsh artist who paint these in England and then sent his assistants over here to hang them up. This is a man who never even saw the capital in person or even stepped foot in the state of Missouri. Um, but they do, they really bring the, the capital together through some of the Missouri history he read about and using his own technique, which was more of a Euro European technique. We have 41 lunettes, which are half moon paintings that talk about the history of the resources found in Missouri. Uh, the Thomas Hart Benton mural, the Hall of Famous Missourians on the third floor. These are the bust of people who are famous or lived in Missouri or who had some sort of impact around the world.